Hi, and welcome to Survey of Engineering. I'm Dr. Stacy Firth from the College of Engineering at the University of Utah, and you'll be hearing from me in many of the videos that you'll watch for this class. During this course, you'll gain an understanding of what engineering is and how engineers are responsible for bringing you most of the things you use daily. You will explore different disciplines in engineering and the exciting opportunities that are available to you. Along the way, you'll learn how to approach a problem like an engineer. You'll also see how important the math and science classes you're taking in high school are and how those subjects are the tools that engineers use to make the world a better place. During this course, we will explore each of seven engineering disciplines. Bioengineering, Chemical Engineering, Civil and Environmental Engineering, Computer Science, Electrical and Computer Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, and material science and engineering. Not only will you learn about each engineering discipline, but also you will have the chance to jump in and do a project that represents each type of engineering. In these projects, you will work in teams to follow the engineering design cycle. You'll be learning about this very soon. To make decisions, design decisions, and create something that actually works. You will learn how important good verbal and written communication is for an engineer, and you will have the chance to practice it. The materials you will need for this class are pretty simple. You will need a bound notebook, a pen, and sometimes a calculator. You will not need a calculator every class, but it's best to have one with you. The bound notebook you will need can be as simple as a composition notebook, available at most grocery stores. It can be lined or on graph paper, hard bound or paperback, whatever you're comfortable with, but it must be bound. This means no tear out pages. The bound notebook will serve as your engineering notebook. You'll be expected to take notes, answer portfolio questions, sketch design ideas, Record brainstorming sessions and collect data in this notebook. Only use a pen when recording anything in your notebook. We will go over why this is necessary when we discuss engineering notebooks later. It is very important for you to bring this notebook and a pen with you to every class. Just a note about how this class will be presented. You are probably used to coming to class, sitting in your chair, and watching the teacher lecture. We will be doing things a little bit differently here. In this class, we'll be using what's called a flipped format. What does this mean for you? It means that you will be assigned a video or videos to watch and take notes on before most class periods. These videos will take the place of traditional lectures, so class time will be spent doing discussions, working on problems, and doing pro projects. Along with each of the videos, you will be asked a portfolio question. You should write this question in your notebook for each video and take notes during the video and during the following class discussion to answer this question. This is required and you will be asked to turn in your notebook so that you may be graded on your completion of these questions. More importantly, answering these questions will help you on quizzes and exams. Okay. So what does all this really mean for you? It means that you get to be a more active participant in your learning. Come to class, be prepared, ask questions, make comments. Take some risks and see your results. If you do, you will have a great you will learn a great deal about engineering and have fun at the same time. So remember your homework for next class is to bring a lab notebook and a pen. See you next class time.